In today's video, we are going to start another project, yet another spectrum analyzer. Over the last few weeks, I've been working on the display device for the spectrum analyzer. And in here, I bought off eBay last year, finally getting around to do anything with them, is you've probably seen these on eBay at one time or another. The Russian VU meter had a transistor missing at the time of purchase, and it was noted in another eBay or YouTube video. So, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've taken the displays completely apart. As noted here, the fluorescent tube is missing because it is now here. And here's a blank board driver PCB. It's kind of, kind of hard to autofocus into this. Yeah, whatever. Point of it is, there's a few small errors in the board during production. Notice that all three traces are crossed together so I had to cut them out and on the back side and run them and jump them over along with pins 1 and 4 is mixed up on where the LM9022 is supposed to go. Well, we'll work all that out. So, here's the finished product. Here's the finished product. With all the chips on it, the crystal, the famous Atmel 2313, the filament voltage set pot, and up here is the step up to step the 5 volts up to about 18, 19 volts to drive the anodes and grids through these two chips here, which are a 68 tenths still being produced, which is nuts for it being dual in line. And as noted on the bottom, I had to make the circuit correction. And in the corner, I had to cut the traces and make the correction to the LM9022. So, and then this here, this was an old sign case, some parts on top of it. There's clear plexiglass and a couple of light bulbs inside of it. Well, we're going to remove the light bulbs and all that stuff. And the, the, analy the driver boards for the analyzer are going to be in vertical, as you may have already guessed. Uh, once it's in line, there's going to be 10 boards total. And each board has two, so it'll be a 20 position spectrum analyzer. Uh, not bad. Now, these boards are designed to be controlled via a master controller or a host. These are specifically slave boards. Now, the routines for the to drive the board have been written already. And to control the anodes, the grids, the sher serial shifting through the ship register, and also the output compare register for timer one, PWM drives U4. And the drive signal for the filament anode comes from there. Also, the shutdown signal is pulse width modulated just in case the B plus is a little high to the anodes. You can always adjust accordingly. So you can, you can change the pulse width the amount of time that the chip is on, lower that. Then you can adjust the resistor and the potentiometer to raise your filament voltages back up so that the anodes are visible again. Because directly lowering the, the drive to the chip, the time, the on time, you're going to lose B plus along with filament. But of course the fluorescent display requires an AC signal in order for you to have linear brightness across the display and the voltage drop is not affected. That U4 is designed to do just that. Now the serial routines for to have the controller, the master controller, control this display have not been written yet. However, there is a demo mode that's already been written as noted. It's going to go through a demo cycle. Notice it's got peak hold. Peak hold times out as necessary as it needs to. And uh, here is a program written in a popular software called BASCOM. Yeah, it's a little complicated, but 
I have 50 of these boards, so I think it's worth my time. I'm only going to build one analyzer. If anybody else is interested in some of these boards, since I will have 50 of them, um, whether you want to buy your own parts or me buy the parts, send you a kit, or send it pre-built, it's all going to be determined. Prices will be figured accordingly. And if you want to build one of these monsters and you want these parts, let me know. Shoot me an email.